Hey everybody, welcome back to Staying Kingdom Minded. My name is Amanda, if you're new here, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and joining our Kingdom crew, which I lovingly call our faithful few, our fam bam, all the names. I'm so excited that the channel is growing, I'm excited that you're getting value out of the videos, that they're encouraging you, and that they're helping you grow closer to God. Here's the secret, that's not really a secret at all. God is fighting your battles for you in 2021, and in this best daily devotional for women. I'm going to share with you some scriptures that are truly going to encourage you that are going to be pivotal to your walk with God. And I quickly just want to point out that in the description box right underneath this video, a thing that I made for you guys is down there. If you click on the link, it'll take you to the website. There is a principle over there I would love for you to pick up. If you're watching this before February 2021, go ahead and grab that. We're going to work through it together. It's going to be really exciting. We're going to be intentional in our time with God, in our daily devotion, in our daily quiet time. As God is fighting our battles for us in 2021, we are are going to armor ourselves in the full armor of God. We're going to prepare for battle and we're going to fight right alongside him. Because after all, even though God's fighting our battles for us this year, ladies, we need to be intentional and grow closer to God. So if you want to know about God fighting your battles for you, go ahead and check out the playlist in the description box below. Every Monday I'm doing videos on God fighting your battles. And in this series, we are truly seeing what the scriptures say about giving those battles over to God, giving the tests, the trials, and all of the tribulations that we are facing right now in 2020 over to Jesus and letting him fight. So go ahead and grab your Bibles. This is the Bible that I love to use. It is the Everyday Matters Bible for Women. I'll put a link to it below. It's an affiliate link. If you pick it up through my link, they send me a couple pennies, which I greatly appreciate. It just helps to support the ministry. And so grab your Bible and we're going to read in the book of Psalms in chapter 23. All right, so let's dive in. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. For you are close behind me. Your rod and your staff protect me and comfort me. You see, he protects us and he comforts us because he's fighting our battles in 2021. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. David is writing in Psalm 23 and he is saying that you will protect me and you'll guide me, that all the blessings are going to overflow and pour on me, throughout me, around me all the days of my life. And sis, God's fighting your battles for you right now. And he's protecting you and he's guiding you. And he has sent this willing vessel, this messenger, this bag of dirt, this nobody to speak to somebody about his goodness and his mercy that will follow you all the days of your life. If only you will allow him to fight your battle. I don't know what your battle is. Unless you email me and talk to me about it directly, unless you're following me on Instagram and you send me direct messages, unless we've connected outside of you just watching me behind the lens of this camera, I don't know what your struggle is. But this one thing I know, this one thing I know while I feel the Holy Ghost while I'm speaking to you today is that God has showed up on the scene in a mighty way in 2021 and he wants to fight your every battle. Whether that be financial battles, whether that be marital battles, whether that be battles on the job, battles in your mind, whether that be depression and anxiety, no matter what that looks like for you, God is not only already fought and won the battle, but he wants to fight your battle, your individual battle. He says, because he knows your name. And bro, he knows your name. He sees your pain. Every tear that you've cried every single night, every single night that you've laid your head on your pillow and you've wondered, why me? Why now? When is this going to end? God, I'm tired of fighting these battles. I can't do this on my own. And then God spoke and he said, Amanda, tell them that they're not doing it on their own. 
If only they would know that I am fighting their battles for them. And in the midst of the chaos in their life, in the midst of these trying times, I am beside them. If only they will look up to where their help cometh from, I am fighting alongside them. See, I've already won the war against death, hell, and the grave, and I can give them a peace that it is that they are longing for if only they will allow me. If only they will allow me. And how do you allow God to fight your battles for you? How do you just set back in this imaginary being who someone tells you is there that you can't see that oftentimes, if you're being honest, the enemy fights you and says that this God that you think is real is not even real and that he doesn't hear you pray and you can't prove it because you can't see it. You see, because I can hold this book. It's a physical, tangible item and I can hold it in my hand. But the enemy, the enemy is a deceiver and he is a liar. And he will interject thoughts into your mind to tell you that God's not real, that he doesn't hear you, that he doesn't love you. And after all your flaws and all your sins and all your falters, every single time that you fall and down, you might as well just give up, sis. Because listen, bro, he isn't hearing you anyways because he's fabricated, he's imaginary. He's just a story that has been told and passed down from generation to generation. But that, my friend, is a lie. When this life is over, and it will be over one day for you and for me, what will you have stood on? What will you have stood on? Will you have stood on Christ, the solid rock I stand, as the song says? Will you have built your house and your life on a firm foundation that is Jesus Christ? Or will you have allowed the whispers of those lies to enter into your mind and stayed in your mind and not kicked them out? Because after all, you are the landlord of your own mind today. Know that God is fighting your battles. Know that I will be back on Monday with another encouraging, inspirational video with you and for you. I pray to see you in the comment section below. I pray that God is encouraging you in these times to know that you were made and called for such a time as this. And he is fighting for you. If only you will give him the battle. Pick up that printable that's in the description box below. Start with me February 1st. I'm starting a new challenge. I would love for you to participate in it. It does not cost very much money. I'm not trying to get rich quick. I'm trying to help you grow closer in your faith. I have yet to start these writing prompts because I want to do them with you in real time. I want us to talk about them in the comments section. I'm going to make a series on the channel about the writing prompts and I'm going to continue to roll them out each month. I would love for you to participate with me. So go ahead and check that out. You can pick it up now so you can be ready to go February 1st. This is going to roll out every single month. I'm so super excited to connect with you. And if you're not following me on Instagram and Facebook, I'm staying kingdom minded on those platforms as well. P.S. I started a Patreon, and if you would like to support this ministry in that way, if you feel led to do so, that's in the box below as well. God bless you. I love you. I appreciate you. I appreciate your support, and I will see you and this fly in the next video. Stay kingdom-minded in all you do, like killing flies, which is what I'm about to do. Bye. <laughs>